Hey guys, Professor Bell, Comic Book University, and I'm reading Batwoman, issue number one. Now, two weeks ago, we had Batwoman Rebirth, number one. That was just a supposed to be a jumping on point. And I argued in that comic that it wasn't much of a jumping on point. Well, guess what? That's the most that you get. And now in Batwoman, number one, which will start a whole new series of just Batwoman, this is just really jumping into the depth. Now, we don't necessarily conclude the Monsters Unleashed sort of storyline that they got going, the Night of the Monster Men. And what happens is she's in the middle of Istanbul, the world market, the bazaar, and she takes out the last monster, with the last bit of serum that had gotten out there. But the army is still bidding on things, the army of different worlds, and Britain is actually starting to make new things. And we've got the start of a very cool mystery here. Now, we also see her coming in contact with old characters like Sophia, and we see a couple of different things going on. She's hanging out with Julia Pennyworth, which is actually, to me, that's very interesting. I like the uh, Dasper of that. She was just introduced two years ago. Uh, three. Three years ago, actually. And, I don't know, there's, there's a lot going on. But at the same time, I don't think that it's really what we need right now. Now, I'm going to explain that. I've looked online and I've seen the other reviews the written reviews about this issue, and I see that they're all giving into Bs. They're giving, you know, like an 8, 8.5, something along those lines, saying that it's almost perfect. Well, while I agree that the art really is on point, and I believe that this is some very incredible writing, I'm going to disagree with them in this one regard. Issue number ones, and the whole purpose of the rebirth and every five years, there's a version of a crisis. I mention this very often on my channel. DC stops everything once every five years and reboots everything so that everyone has a number one, an issue number one for their favorite characters or characters that they want to get into so that they could jump into the character and start to understand the characters better. Batwoman is one of those cases where, no, it absolutely does not happen here. If you do not know who Batwoman is, and I've seen it many times, I'm not saying that I'm completely new to Batwoman, I'm not saying that I'm an expert on her either, but Kate Kane, no, I'm sorry. This is one of those instances where this comic is simply not for someone who is new to the Batwoman character. Not at all. It looks like a jarbled mess, and the people who I've had the discussions with who don't know who she is, who were interested in jumping on this, have said the exact same thing. This is pointless. They don't know where to start, and if you can't start issue number one, then there's a problem. That aside, the mystery does look interesting, what's going on here, and if you are a longtime fan, I mean, she hasn't been in existence for too many years, but if you are a fan of Batwoman from back in the New 52, then yeah, you'll enjoy this comic. So for that purpose, I'm going to give this a B minus. I think that this was okay. But when you look at it from the standpoint of a new person jumping on, which as a reviewer, I kind of have to, I don't see this as being that good. So if you can't jump on on an issue one and you can't jump on to an issue zero, which is what Batman Rebirth, or excuse me, Batwoman Rebirth was supposed to be, then yeah, this kind of completely defeats the purpose. So... Anyway, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, class dismissed.